Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, what is going on? My name is Robert Teagarden and we are back again today with another Teagarden quick tip tutorial. Just a tip, just enough to see if it feels good. We're talking about keyboard shortcuts in Premiere today. Uh, but before I get started, I would like to say, if you haven't already, why don't you connect with me on the socials? I am RMT Shoots on Twitter and Instagram. I'm very active on both, and I would love for you guys to come by, drop a line, say hello, a little shucking and jiving, a little how's your brother? <laughs> I am a man of efficiency if I am nothing else, and nowhere is that more true than in keyboard shortcut and mouses. The total aggregate time that I feel I save not going from keyboard to mouse to keyboard to mouse to keyboard to mouse is enough for me to constantly be seeking out the greatest keyboard shortcuts in whatever program I am working in. This was true in my former job over at Universal Records. I am also a pretty proficient editor in Pro Tools. I've had my hand in Final Cut for many years, and the same thing was true when I started editing in Adobe Premiere. One of the first things I did was try to figure out the exact same keyboard shortcuts that I was using in prior programs in this program, and it has saved me a ton of time. And that time lets me get more work done, and more work makes me a much happier person, and when I'm more happy, I just get to do the things that I wanna do, which is make more videos, and it's this beautifully cyclical process, so I really just wanted to get a chance to talk to you guys about why this is important, and give you some tips on what I used in order to figure out how to do these things very quickly. Now this isn't a video about all of the keyboard shortcuts that are available to you on Premiere, like the best shortcuts or the five best videography editing shortcuts. That's not what this video is about. This video is about how do you personally figure out the shortcuts that matter to you, and I'm gonna give you a couple ways of doing that. The first one is that down in the description below, I just linked the Adobe Premiere list that Adobe put out for us, so that you can just scroll through and see all the things that you have. I think you can actually download this as a PDF, uh, so it just lives natively on your drive, so there you go. You're welcome. The second one is what I used all the time to figure out what keyboard shortcuts are available to me in Premiere, and the way I did it was this. If we go into Premiere, we can see on the upper left-hand corner, we click this Premiere Pro CC dialog box, and we go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And wouldn't you know it, an entire keyboard shows up that tells us all of the shortcuts that are available to us. Thanks, Adobe. Thanks a lot. Now the great thing that I found is on the surface we see all of these native keyboard shortcuts. I tend to use this up and down arrow all the time to scroll back and forth between my clips. I'm using Command K all the time to use cuts. I use the Option key so I can isolate just the video and or audio portion and make my edits there. I also use the comma and the period to drop in pieces from my preview window into the timeline all of the time. But what interested me in this particular keyboard view is that if I clicked different buttons, it would show me what other options are available. For instance, if I clicked Command, an entire different keyboard showed up. Same thing for Option, same thing for Shift, same thing for Combinations. If I clicked Command and Shift, it would show me a whole different keyboard. So that blew my mind and I was able to find a ton of shortcuts that I use on a daily basis just by hunting through there. And every single time I'm in this window, I find new and useful keyboard shortcuts shortcuts that I use all the time. Now the third thing I wanted to share with you guys is that you can actually create your own keyboard shortcuts within Premiere. Now this was a total game changer for me. One of the actions that I do all of the time is scaling clips up and down. For instance, if I have a 4K clip but I'm using a 1080 timeline, I would have to constantly scale down my 4K footage so that it would match in my 1080 window. Now to do this without a keyboard shortcut is kind of a pain in the ass. You have to click on your footage and then right click, scroll down to scale to frame, and you would do this for every single piece of footage that you had in your timeline. And it took so long and I got so sick of doing this. So what I did is I created my own shortcut and this is how you do it. It's so easy, guys. Check this thing out. I scaled through in the command window to find my scale to frame option. When I did it, there's this invisible text box right here. And from there, once I clicked on it, I could assign my own keyboard shortcut. I used command, shift, and P. And now every time I need to scale of piece of footage up or down, all I hit is Command Shift P. I do this throughout my timeline and it saves me an enormous amount of time. So that's all I got today, guys. Just a quick video to help you edit faster so you can blast through some more videos and be more efficient. 
If you like this content, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you get post notifications on when this guy posts content because it happens on a regular basis all the time. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. This is Robert T. Garden Quick Tip Tutorial out.